Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into it, it'd be massively appreciated if you went ahead and dropped a like on the video. Cheers. So Rangers may have not secured a marquee name in the January transfer window, but Philip Clement has displayed his knack of picking up promising young talents. As Mohamed Diomandi and Oscar Cortez have joined the Ibrox side, it remains to be seen whether the pair can adjust to Scottish football, but the initial reaction has been positive, and they could emerge as crucial members of the squad across the next few months as we look to win the Premiership and the Scottish Cup. Clement did miss out on bringing another face or two to the club last month, especially with one talented winger being linked throughout the window. While there was never going to be a mass exit of players in order to fund Clement's transfer ambitions, the Ibrox faithful were hoping for more than three signings, especially due to their injury problems in the attacking department. Both Danilo and Sima face long spells on the sidelines, and the Belgian manager may come to regret not bringing in at least one more attacking-minded player. During the early stages of the transfer window, we were reportedly showing interest in Vitesse winger Millian Manhof regarding a potential winter move according to TeamTalk.com. The outlet claimed that any move would likely cost the Light Blues a transfer fee in the region of 3 million. And given the financial situation surrounding the Dutch team, this looked like it could turn out to be a shrewd investment. Feyenoord also showed interest in the 22-year-old given his performances in the Dutch league. But as the transfer window approached the final few days, it soon transpired that Rangers would not be able to sign him ahead of the second half of the campaign. It was Stoke City who made the move to bring him to England, announcing his signing on transfer deadline day last week for an undisclosed fee. Clement and the boardroom could come to regret not signing the Dutchman, especially as he has scored more goals than Ross McCausland this term. Ross McCausland has made quite a splash this season under Philip Clement, emerging as a first-team regular since making his first appearance of the campaign in the Europa League back in October. The winger has since just missed one game and proven himself to be a useful player. The 20-year-old is now chipped in with two goals and three assists across 23 matches. And while there is periods during the match where he drifts out and becomes less effective, the more senior experience he does get, the better he will become. Clement has shown that he will play youngsters if they are good enough, and Ross McCausland has definitely made that right wing slot his own since mid-October. If he does suffer an injury, only Scott Wright is available for that position and could leave Clement in a tricky spot. However, securing a move for Manhof when the club were initially linked at the start of January could have solved that potential problem, and even more so as he has been even more effective in front of goal than McCausland. The Dutch winger scored 9 goals in 33 matches in 2022-23, along with adding 5 assists to his game, as he proved to be one of the main threats in front of goal for the Dutch team, despite them occupying bottom spot in the top flight. This is 2 more goals than McCausland, and Manhof was arguably a more positive influence among his teammates, especially due to the fact that his 4 goals contributed towards 30 1% of their total tally during the 2023-24 campaign. The winger also averaged 1.4 key passes per game, and also created one big chance and succeeded with 2.5 dribbles per game, which is a wonderful return and it proves that he is more clinical in front of goal. Stoke do indeed have a player that could make a big difference in their attacking output, especially if he settles into the championship and his style is certainly comparable to that of Mohamed Salah of Liverpool. And that is actually according to football talent scout Jack Kulig, who profiled him last year as he emerged as a player to watch out for. Kulig claimed that Manhof was similar to that of Salah, as both wingers do show a keen eye for goal. And according to whoscored.com, both Manhof and Salah excel in finishing and in the key pass area, meaning that they are capable of not only scoring plenty but creating opportunities for their teammates. However, saying the Dutchman could be the next Mo Salah is a tad over the top. Rangers journalist Kai Watson also praised the youngster, going as far to say that he had electrifying pace and his confidence on the ball is a standout trait, and it may have made him an Ibrox favourite should he have joined the club. However, under Clement, hopefully missing out on these type of players is a thing of the past now. And with the signings of Diomandi and Cortez, it could well be the beginning of a new and improved transfer strategy operating in Glasgow. So what do you guys think then? Personally, I do think this is a real bit of talent we missed out on, and it is quite clear that he wanted a move to the UK, seeing that he moved to Stoke in January. However, missing out on European football to play for Stoke is a bit strange. Range. Obviously, based on his stats, he is a better player than Ross McCausland and Scott Wright. However, Ross McCausland is one of our own players and definitely has the opportunity to become a better player over time. It is never good when you miss out on a player, but as we all know, we do need to move on now as the transfer will never happen. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments and subscribe for daily videos. Cheers.